Hi again, this is Rick with AmazingAccuracy.com and today is September 14th, 2012. It's currently 1.20 p.m. Chicago time. And what we're going to talk about today is live cattle and I uh, want to give you kind of a forecast on, on how the cycles look in the live cattle market at this time. Uh, starting with the monthly chart that you're looking at here, you can see that... Uh, Live cattle has been correcting. In other words, after it made a uh, very big drop here in the live cattle market, and that was back from February of 2012 down to April, it has been correcting. So, so far it's only uh, just a little past 50% of the overall dro drop down. And the potential for a monthly... Uh, swing top, of course, is great. Uh, the farther away we are from uh, moving all all the way back up to February. So, with that in mind, right now, the month of September, which is this month, uh, the high is currently sitting at 90 degree resistance based on a 90 degree calculation. So, we have the potential to uh, form a monthly swing top. Uh, at the very least, uh, we have the potential to see prices start to uh, drop off from that uh, monthly high that was put in uh, yesterday, as a matter of fact, September 13th, which we'll look at in a second. Okay, so anyway, that's the real long-term picture here, is uh, that currently uh, this market has been making, um, let me put the one bar on, you can see that it last made a swing bottom here and then back in April it made an even lower swing bottom so we we have sort of a bearish pattern here even though it is uh, quite erratic on the monthly chart on the weekly chart uh, as you can see here uh, the um, pattern is one of higher swing bottoms which is is a bullish pattern although overall it is a correction of this overall drop which we've already seen on the monthly chart and uh, this is um, now as it would appear on the daily chart let me get it down in here so you can see it uh, in the in the window and uh, you can see these little X's I put here this gives me uh, notes I, I put notes here to let me know when cycle turns are expected and and as you can see, we're in that time period now. We also have week 914 shown here a couple of times that I've, I've written this because um, I look at so many charts, it's hard for me to remember uh, what I was thinking on, a, on, on another market if I don't put little notes for myself on the charts to remind me that uh, in this case here that I should be looking at something going on around 914. Now, the only thing that concerns me about this particular weekly uh, price bar of 914 here uh, one of course is we're making higher swing bottoms which is a bullish pattern and this is currently a higher uh, weekly high than the previous two swing highs which is a bullish pattern and uh, I certainly don't like the idea of trying to trade against a bullish pattern and also, if you'll notice, this weekly price bar here, let me take the swings off here, made a, uh, it's an outside bar because it has a lower low and higher high than the previous week, which allows this low to potentially become one of these swing bottoms just as much as it potentially can be a swing top. So being an outside bar makes the picture a little cloudier. Okay, so we have those things going against the uh, idea of selling this market. The only thing uh, that is going for the market, or a couple of things, was one is overall correction pattern here. It's it's um, only a percentage of the overall drop down has it risen, and the other thing is that a cycle turn top was or is due at this time period because this was the cycle bottom area right here that I had uh, made a notation on so that is going uh, for the um, the selling side of things and then you know again we have um, the 90 degree squares here we do have resistance here which is another thing good for uh, those um, taking on a bias 
uh, bearish bias for live cattle. Now, <clears throat> moving on to the daily chart, you can see I have some more notations here. Again, it's it's more of a bullish pattern, as you can see from the formation of a higher swing bottom here than here, now a higher high than here and here. This is a bullish pattern, and you usually do not want to sell against a bullish pattern. Um, right now, I have notes here for 9-11, which did produce a swing bottom. I have a note here for 9-13, which did uh, just today, as today made a lower low, confirm that as a swing top. But then I also have another note here for 9.17. And uh, we have an update for 9.14. So this is 9.14, to 9.17. Uh, we have the potential for another reversal. Now, if this turns out to be a reversal bottom for prices to even move higher here, then, of course, selling could be a pretty dangerous thing. However, if the 9.17 time period here were to instead provide us with a possible lower swing top. In other words, we get a price bar that has a higher high than the previous price bar, but does not exceed the current high that we have here that's at resistance. Then it would be making something of a potential lower swing top. In other words, let me just draw that in for you. Let's just say, for example, um, now trading is still going on today, so I don't know how low this price bar uh, is going to end up for today but let's say come Monday which is 917 let's just say we produced a price bar that looks something like like this okay you something like this for this time period here 917 for example we just need to be within a day of that uh, as long as that high right here okay does not exceed that high or doesn't exceed it by any substantial amount maybe a tick or two no big deal but uh, doesn't you know doesn't go like way up here which would exceed the the um, resistance that we have here right now um, this would make it a uh, good candidate for a sell setup okay so something like this uh, it would be a good candidate for a sell setup where we could then uh, technically um, look to sell it just below its seems I lost my line there but uh, let me get rid of that wherever that line is wherever that price bar is right here I'm sorry I don't have it drawn here but I have to disengage one tool just to activate another and uh, but anyway whatever the low is for the 917 bar if as long as it has a higher high than than this uh, previous bar here we could and doesn't go too much above this matter of fact just a couple of ticks or so is fine just remember that but we don't really want to go much above resistance here we can sell below the low of that 917 bar uh, if that turns out to be our sell bar to go along with this uh, cycle turn date that would be a low risk area to uh, get in in the event prices were to move below the 917 low for example produce that lower swing top pattern which is lower than what we're looking at currently as uh, a possible weekly swing top here and monthly swing top here all at resistance okay I hope that makes sense we want we want a pattern that is showing something of a potential lower swing top because right now we've got this 917 before us before us here that is in our way uh, towards 925 927 which I haven't mentioned yet but that is the objective so I'll just put 926 because it's right in the middle of the two uh, that is the downside objective if the cycle pattern holds true for live cattle as is anticipated so if we get that swing top thing confirmed here as uh, the cycles uh, indicate is highly likely to occur we're going to look to trade this down to around the 925 927 time period but I don't want to do that unless we we sell below the 917 low uh, for a possible lower swing top because we're in a time period now where 
like I've already mentioned, you know, you've got this bullish pattern here. You've got the bullish pattern on the weekly chart. We could invert and possibly shoot up. And I don't want to be caught short when something like that uh, might happen. You get a cycle inversion. So to prevent that, I always teach to confirm the swings. And to do that, we want to trade below the low uh, where we're expecting a swing to happen. And that way, then we know that, yes, indeed, we are in the beginning of our cycle pattern down. And then at that point, we know our target for the cycle bottom will be around 925, 927. So that's your forecast for live cattle. So remember, we are looking right now if the cycle pattern holds for the swing top around this time period, which is now, void a short term trade if the market trades. Uh, you know more than just a few ticks above this 913 high that's this is your void area right here okay void a short uh, trade if the market starts trading up in this area right here otherwise take a short position down into the 925 time period thanks again for watching if you haven't done so already please subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you can be notified of all my future forecast videos that I produce, including lessons, and I have a free newsletter at uh, amazingaccuracy.com that you're more than welcome to sign up for for periodic forecast and, and other lessons. Thanks again.